Hello YouTube viewers, it's time for another General Archibald tutorial. And uh, today, I am going to be making use of this ripped tile set compilation, which is available on Fire Emblem Cafe. And I will be showing you how to insert these ripped tile sets. So, hold on, let's get started. So I'm going to first show off, I've already got the map inserted, and what we're going to be looking for is the Western Isles tile set. So let's open up this ROM and uh, check out this map. The, the tile set's not in the game, so it's, let's see, skip win stuff. Yeah, that's kind of a fucking mess, if you can't tell. That looks nothing like the map it's supposed to be. So, um, hold on. That's not used till later. I did a first take of this video, but it didn't really work out too well, so I have to uh, sort of restart everything. But uh, let's go here. And uh, so I need the Western Isles Village tile set. So that is conveniently available on the RIP tile set compilation. So I'm going to download that, open that, and extract its contents onto my desktop using the WinRAR that I have not paid for. Okay, so here we are. Here are the tiles, here's the configuration, and here's the palette. And those are the three things that make up a tile set. So in order for us to uh, start making these edits, we're going to need to open up a few nightmare modules. So we're going to need the chapter data editor, and we're going to need the event references module, which is right in here. And but first of all, first off, so what we're going to do is we have these .dmp files, and we're going to need to uh, put those somewhere in the ROM. All you really have to do is copy paste. So, and you just copy paste it into wherever you have free space. So I'm going to open up my ROM in the hex editor. And I'm going to open up the palette, the tile config, and the tiles themselves. Oh, that's slightly annoying. It only displays three things at once. Okay, so I have some uh, free space at uh, D9, I have some free space right there, at offset D90000. And so let's start with the uh, tiles themselves. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to take that and uh, copy paste. And then with HXD you use control B to paste into the ROM because you don't want to expand the ROM. So this writes over it. So let's see. So our tiles went at D9, one, two, three, four zeros, and it ends around there. So we're going to start, excuse me, <coughs> we're going to start uh, our palette at this offset, which is, so we're going to write that down, just make sure we don't lose anything, D9, five, four, D0. And so let's go grab the palette. And that's kind of small, so let's just paste that in there. And then what's left is our config. That will be D95610 is where we're going to paste that at. So let's go grab our config and paste that in there. And there we have it. So that is all three parts of the Western Isles tile set are now in the ROM. And so now I'm going to open up the ROM in Nightmare which is conveniently on my desktop as tile set tutorial. And the prologue map is using Plains and Castle tile set. So we're going to replace Plains and Castle. I wouldn't recommend doing that for your actual hack, but we're going to replace that today with Western Isles over uh, the Western Isles Village tile set. So here we have the prologue map pointing to where that's written. Plains and Castle is right here. So let's open this up. So this is the tiles. So the tiles are at D9 one, two, three, four. Then the uh, palette is right there, and the palette is at D954DO, so we're going to write that offset in there. And then the config is at D95610, so we're going to write that in there. And then let's take our ROM with this broken map, and let's refresh it now that we've installed the tile set. And there, that's a bit weird. There are uh, tile animations where there shouldn't be. That's...
quite strange. But yeah, there are no tile animations. And here we are. Here is Western Isles tile set functioning in FE7. And here's Bada the Beast and his little buddy. It's kind of trapped there by the map. But yeah, you can uh, freely traverse when you don't have shitty tutorials on. But yeah, it functions 100% and now you have a tile set in your game. And you can do this with any of the tile sets on this uh, listing right here. And you can paste them in and you can use any tile set in uh, your ROMs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something about tile set insertion. If not, uh, you just wasted six minutes of your life. But uh, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed and uh, happy ROM hacking, guys.